Hey there YouTube. I decided to buy build myself another one of these little 555 uh, inverter circuits. Uh, this time I've got a couple of uh, well, PMP, MPN, a couple of transistors there. Uh, I'm coming in with like about like 13 volts. Where is it? There it is. 13 volts into this. But coming out of it, I've got 5.5 volts AC, which I'm measuring there. And that's coming off this, this capacitor which is connected to uh, both the emitters of those and their transistors. I'm not quite sure how I seem to have lost so much. But anyway, so at the minute that's what we got out the other side of the transformer. Now that frequency sort of fluctuates a little bit. With what I've got here, I can only get it down to. I, I've got to do a lot more messing around with these. With these are capacitors. Well, I thought first of all, what I'd do is I would change this transformer and put a slightly better one on because that one's only good for a couple of watts, I think just for, um, it came out of one of those little, little LED, I think it was an LED light, um, but it, it's not the greatest, so I'm going to try changing that over and just see if it adjusts the frequency and I'm also going to try and see what's going on with this, but that's what we got so far, that's the output here, um, we've also got the <clears throat> We've also got the uh, the output there, which is supposed to be a square wave, but as you can see, that's not the greatest. Uh, we've got 10 volts division here. I don't know if you can see the grid yet. Um, you've got 50 volts on here. But that seems to be the, the most we can give it. Let's get rid of that menu. Uh, so it doesn't look particularly very good at all. But it does light bulbs, um, LED bulbs that is, you know, one, one, 240 mains, 240 volt mains uh, bulbs, not terribly bright, but we'll see if that's not got something to do with this, but I've got a funny feeling it's a lot to do with the fact that we've only got, you know, five and a half volts um, coming out of this, and this always switches back to DC, which is really annoying. I wish it would um, just remember where I left it because look if I go back now oh sorry wrong one if I change that back to the menu back to DC again yeah. annoying but never mind so I'm just going to change this round and I'm going to change that round don't need that on there and we'll see if it makes any difference ok so I've changed that over and I've put my trusty toroid in there and I've made a slight adjustment on the I've set them both to 50 50 volts so you can see the difference between the input and the output of course um, and I also changed them to DC coupling both channels I had them on AC coupling before So really, I suppose now I've got to go back to the. Um, I just want to change something. Uh, display contrast. Just want to get a better. Nah, it's not. It's not good. That's actually better, I think. Anyway, right. Uh, 
So the frequency has dropped a little tiny bit. Nothing's really changed on the voltage. And I haven't put these back here to see what the difference is, if any, on this. Back to that DC thing again, how annoying. Okay. So that can't quite be right, can it? Okay. Now the reason why that's gone up could be because we're going up very slightly there because it is a little bit dependent on what the weather's doing outside. So back to the scope display. At least it's a bit better looking square wave than it was before. Well, the circuit I've used for this and it pains me to say it because normally whatever I've got from this site has worked but here it is and I've made it exactly the same the only difference is, is I've got a little bit of extra capacitance here just so I can of the tunability with the uh, 100k pop okay just so I can get the frequency on on um, 50 Hertz so if you look at it there look over there I can play around with it we go down a little bit or we can go up a little bit with a hundred nanofarad capacitor I don't have the tuning range and I can get this near enough bang on. Yeah, that, that's close enough just for playing with this. But the reason why there's only 92 volts on the output is because I've only got like six and a half volts, around six and a half volts coming out of this. And then it's not being amplified by these transistors. It, they just enable some extra current flow so then I'm putting around about six and a half volts into the transformer on a 12 volt input because this transformers it's got two 12 volt outputs here's the other output and sorry there's about five and a half volts on this We'll look at it again in a second. And then here I've got my 90 volts, 92 volts. And it's not very pretty there either. Um, the input there is set to 10 volts. And the output the blue is on 50 volt per division. That's as much as I can give it. I can't give it 100 volts. I can't get any any closer into that. Maybe there's a way to do it, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, let me just check that both of these are on. So if I put that on DC, that's what our square wave looks like. And if I change channel 2, let's see we're on channel 2 now, I'm going to put that to DC. That's what we got there. but even there that should well it's not really an AC signal is it because it's just a square wave signal but anyway so I don't know it says 12 volts 240 volt and I've still got about 13 volts there these wires here and what's feeding what's feeding this so I've got about 13 volts going in I've only got literally half of that not, not literally but around half of that coming out and we should actually tell you so I go into measurement oh wrong one it's in everything wrong so 
8.4 volts. We must be on channel. Uh, put that on channel one. Put on to measure. And that is channel one. And that's channel two. Uh, we can't see that. Damn it. No, oh, it's, oh, it's a light thing, isn't it? Maybe if I change the light thing there. Can you see that now? But if I were to change the coupling of that to AC, and then we go back to measure six volts. Hmm. I suppose it doesn't help. Really. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just, I, you know, I just figured that no one's going to teach me, like in a school or anything. So I just got to play with it and figure it out for myself, which is okay. Uh, so I put that back to DC, just because it's more of a square wave there, so we get to see what that is, and that's on the output of here. It's that scope just here. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, I can connect it up to a little bulb. I'll show you. This is a six watt um, LED bulb, and I can I'll just pop those needs there. And this is the 100 volts uh, just here, so I'll just put that in my hand there and grab this. And so there's the other the other side of the 100 volts. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about it, but I'll do it like that. Yeah, you get to see that there's a little bit of flicker there. Um, on the, our 90 volts, 92 volts, it says, uh, has dropped down to 37 volts. And as you can see, maybe over there on the scope, the waveform, of course, has dropped as well. Up it goes. Down it goes. But I don't know, I'm supposed to get 240 volts out of that. Not quite sure what it is, where I'm going wrong, but it's just a basic, you know, the basic A stable. 555 circuit just to give that that output and um, you just been able to adjust the frequency to 50 hertz and then there's a little 100 ohm resistor there before it goes into the bases of the transistors uh, one collector here this 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 one here is going down to ground the collector over here is going to the positive yeah and then we got the two um, emitters go into the negative, uh, the positive leg of this capacitor. One side of the primary of the transformer is negative, the other side is coming off this capacitor, which is connected here to these two wires. Until the toroid out the 240 which would normally be the primary, but in this case it's been acting as a secondary, stepping it up, transformer. And there, so... I'm not quite sure how to get that to have more power, so... If anyone can help me out here, I've got a 10k resistor here, maybe I could play around with that, but... Hmm... I'll have a little go, and... I've done this already, and I'm sure I had much better voltage coming out with a 555 timer. I need to go back and look over some of my stuff and, and see. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that because it was been quite a bit of playing around and just experimenting. Cheers for watching.